So I'm excited that you guys are out here today uh, kind of talking about our, our harrow seeder that we use for cover crops. Um, so this was something that we've, over 15 years of experience with cover crop, we have definitely played with a lot of different ways of seeding cover crops. Um, and I guess one of the things that's kind of drove us over the years is we can't have the cover crops be a huge cost where there's a lot of risk because it's an out, out, a lot of outlay of cash. And so we've kept modifying and changing what we're doing over the years. And I think this is going to turn out to be a really good system for us. This is our second fall seeding with the air seeder. We actually built it last fall. Um, and what we've done is we've married a, uh, a, an air seeder uh, box together with a, a double rolling basket or a rolling harrow. Um, and so we're, we're broadcasting the seed out using the air seeder and then we're getting a real light incorporation of the seed uh, underneath the, the residue close to the soil. So we're trying to minimize soil disturbance uh, while broadcasting our seed. I think on corn stalks here, we'll show in a little bit that we're probably actually helping uh, with breakdown of residue just a little bit without doing tillage. Um, and then for us, we needed to make it easy and inexpensive to get it on. And so this whole system, uh, it was relatively inexpensive to build. Uh, and it's, it's very inexpensive to operate because we can get a lot of acres per hour covered and we can do it with a very low horsepower tractor. And so, you know, if I compare it to flying with a plane, for instance, you know, with a plane, we might spend 15 to $20 an acre for the seating and then have to put on 50 or 75 or hundred pounds per acre of seed. That gets very, very expensive. With this system here on corn stalks where we're going to beans, we've got about 50 to 60 pounds of seed we're putting on. And with this machine, it's only costing us about five or $6 an acre to operate it, including the operator. So the way we're looking at it is if we can make the cover crops very inexpensive and effective, then our return on investment is a lot simpler than if we have 50 or $60 per acre invested in our cover crop. Uh, what we're using here is, is actually a, it's a Hineker uh, air seeder that uh, Hineker used to build. Uh, this one was built specifically for planting soybeans. Um, and Gandhi uh, helped with building this system. So it actually has Gandhi seed meters underneath the tank that they put on it. And so we just reworked all the meters with Gandhi parts and got it set up. And so if we come in closer, uh, this tank here is, is full of seed. Um, and so we go ahead and put our, our cover crop seed, whatever it may be that we're gonna plant. And then these individual metering wheels have, have little fingers or paddles on it. And so that meter turns uh, slowly and meters the seed out and then drops it down into, uh, into an airstream. So each one of these individual hoses has air that's flowing through it. And so the seed is dropped in there and then blowing through these, these air hoses. And eventually it comes out uh, back here at these, at these individual d distributors. And so these, the, the seed comes out and hits this splash plate and then it scatters evenly. Um, across the width of that. And so across the whole bar, we have these spaced out every 30 inches. And so we get an even seating across the entire width of the machine. Hineker air seeder that we bought, uh, built our own frame to be able to modify it on here and came up with our brackets. But then the rest of it is just a, a standard uh, J&M rolling harrow that we, that we purchased. We were fortunate to find it on a on an auction relatively inexpensive. And so we, we worked to marry the two together and, and come up with this seating machine. We actually have uh, small deflectors that we can put onto the, onto the, the distributor uh, that restricts the flow of seed. So when we're planting in soybean stubble, where we will have corn planted the next year, uh, we can actually restrict the seed flow down to about a 15 inch band of seed and these distributors are set up so that they're every 30 inches, but they're offset 15 inches from where our corn row will work. And so we're running the whole machine using RTK GPS. And so we know exactly where our corn row is gonna be the next year. And so we can actually distribute this seed into 15 inch bands in between the corn rows. So we don't have cover crop and corn in direct competition with each other. We have cover crop uh, in between the rows, in that space in between the rows, uh, so that we have less competition. And part of the reason we've done that is we've found that if we can keep the rye just a little further away from the corn, it's given us an opportunity to plant green, 
and reduce our risk of, of yield reduction uh, because of the cover crop. And so that gives us, gives us an opportunity to get more growth out of our cover crop, uh, get more carbon in the soil, to get more uh, weed suppression, and it gives us a, a bigger window to be able to terminate the cover crop. So we aren't having to do it two weeks before the corn crop or something like that. It gives us a window where we can do it just before corn planting or maybe a little bit after corn planting uh, without impacting the yield as much. So we're really excited with, with how this is set up and using the controlled traffic with RTK that we can use one machine for both corn and soybeans uh, and do it so cost effectively. One of the reasons we went to this system was we felt like we were getting more, more tillage or soil disruption with the vertical till than what we really needed. We were, we were wanting a way to be able to kind of smash the stalks and break up the root ball, but we didn't really want tillage. And so, um, and, and that was requiring a big tractor with a lot of horsepower, a lot of fuel, um, and a vertical till is an expensive machine. And so this was a nice alternative because we're getting a lot of the residue things that we wanted, but we're doing it with a quarter of the horsepower and, and less than half of the machine expense than we were before. But it's interesting when you look at it side by side. So over here on my right, we've got corn stalks that we, that we just harvested uh, a couple of hours ago that are standing upright. And then over here on my, on my left then, this is a row where we just ran the harrow. And so what I like is the, the residue stays pinned to the ground, stays attached which a lot of times with vertical tillage tools, that's one of the big complaints is how it chops and sizes the residue and then it can blow. So all this stuff is still attached and is gonna stay in the field. But then when I come down here and look, the soil is, is virtually completely undisturbed uh, from the harrow running across it. But I get this smashing action on the root balls that starts to break the, the root crown, you know, and opens this ground up. So. You know, like this one got moved a little more than I like, but, but some of these others are just kind of smashed over in the ground and it opens them up so that we can start to get more decomposition. So hopefully it's gonna still help us break down the residue a little bit faster than, than doing nothing, but we're, we're leaving the soil intact. We're not disturbing the soil. And so the, the harrow is just kind of fluffing the residue and shaking it around and getting our seed down uh, so it's in contact with the, with the soil and we get this, this good residue over the top of it, creates a mulch layer, and that rye is able to just take off with even just a heavy dew or a light rain or something like that. It, that rye is able to take right off and start growing up through the residue. So we like it because it's just, it's a lot faster, it's a lot less horsepower, which means a lot less fuel and, and maintenance, and, and we can get across the acres really fast. Our goal is to try to seed the cover crop within 24 hours of the combine, to try to take advantage of every opportunity to, to grow the cover crop we can in the fall.